Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Mac Help for Mom readers Jack and Carmelita both asked me, how do I get that bright yellow circle around my cursor? Well, I'm going to show you. Unfortunately, it's not built into the Mac. You need to use this program I've already installed here called OmniDazzle. And when I start it up, you get this window here that shows you all the various options. It actually can do a lot more than just yellow circles. It's got this thing called Bullseye. But let me go right to the yellow circle one. It's what OmniDazzle calls Flashlight. And then down here it tells you, basically look for this light blue section, it tells you how to turn the flashlight on and off. It's by Control back tick or back quote. That's the one just above the tab. So I'll turn it on right now, the control back tick, and there it is. Now, if you don't like the size of that, you can go to the configuration section. And in here, you can change the size to really small or really big. You can change the color make green, orange, whatever. And you can change the opacity. What that means is right now it's a pretty solid yellow. You can see through it a little bit, but I usually like turning this down to about 50%. So it's enough to get your attention, but it's not so much that it makes it hard to read what's underneath. Um, you can also change the background. I, I never do that. That's you'll Give it a try. You'll see that it's kind of strange. Um, and then this down here is actually the fuzziness of the edge. So as I move this over this way, you can kind of see that the it's not a clear edge to the yellow circle anymore. It's kind of fuzzy. I like it to be solid, but like I said, only 50% opaque under the flashlight section here. So that's how I do it. Um, once you have it set how you like, you can close this window and you'll see it still is running up here with this little mouse icon. And you can always go up here and change what type of effect you want. Like here's a pretty cool one called Zoom. And if you don't know what keys to use to start Zoom, or any others, you can just go back to configure and it'll bring that window up again. And here you can see that to zoom in, you use control one, and to turn it off, it's that control back tick. Those are the two most popular um, keystrokes used in this program. So let's say we're reading this article on the weather.com site. And we want someone across the room to be able to see this more easily without, you know, getting up and coming over. So watch this. I'll do a control one. And now I just highlight that section. And when I let go, boom, there's a zoom. You can say, hey, honey, it's the first day of summer. This is what the sun looks like on the earth. And then when you want to clear that, just a control back tick. And that's all there is to it. And now if I wanted to switch back to the flashlight, I would just go flashlight and then control back tick again. And there I am. So if that looks like something you're interested in, you can go to the Omni Group website where they have OmniDazzle. I've got a link in the article below. And just click on the download link. And it will tell you the three simple steps to download OmniDazzle, and you can start playing around with your cursor.